China own multiple businesses. Driving the latest business. Heaven only knows I'm a witness. And the profit gon' come tremendous. Business here, uh -huh. business there. That's right. I'm a man extraordinary. What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zilgin there. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Now, you know, one of my biggest topics ever since the Kanika case is organ trafficking. As we know, Rosemont was full of organ trafficking. They put Kanika in the freezer. They had bodies in freezers in, in organ trafficking. It don't take a rocket sign to put two and two together. If you have a town full of organ trafficking and they have bodies in freezers and they put Kanika in the freezer, what do you think they put people in the freezer for to preserve their organs? Now, this case really bothers me when I saw this case on the Internet. And I was the first one, one of the first ones to talk about how these funeral homes, um, how these uh, uh, coroners and how these uh, medical examiners, how they're all together. They all work together in the organ trafficking business. All right. These two young ladies died in a car accident and got their organs taken and they got their bodies sent to the wrong funeral home. Now, let, let me um, let me read. Let, let me read some of this and I'm going to let y'all just list check this out real quick because you could tell that this, they, they get your organs as soon as you die as soon as you die i mean they, they they get your organs as soon as you die now um four best friends they got some hard names to pronounce lavender uh, her first name is uh, unique lavender it's hard to say her entire first name doc unique La lavender 20 renee banks 18 Del delasia leah gibson 18 and Samara Cook, 15, were traveling together in a car about 1.30 a.m. July 29th when it veered out of control and hit a utility pole on Country Road 95A and slammed into a tree line. Okay, now the two girls that were murdered, all right, were the two youngest girls, all right, which was Leah Gibson, 18, and Samara Cook. They died. Now the funeral homes claimed that their bodies were misidentified and sent to the wrong funeral homes. But not only that, was it, wrong, was it sent to the wrong funeral homes? Um, they found out that they ha harvest their organs. Yes, one of the girls' organs were harvested. I believe both of them were harvested. But they say just one. One of the girls' organs were harvested. Okay. All right. So they just snatched the organs up and they say there's no there's no organ donor on her license or anything. See, when you die, they're snatching your organs. They're either body snatching. Why do I think all these young girls are disappearing? Because they're body snatching for the organ trafficking and the sex trafficking business. All right. They take bodies and girls for sex trafficking and organ trafficking. All right. Not only that, as soon as you die, they're scooping your organs up quick. All right. Because it's more money. Funeral homes make more money selling your organs. All right. And this is what's going on here. Now, the two mothers of the teenagers are suing. All right. They're suing the Florida Highway Patrol, the coroner, the medical examiner and the two funeral homes, two funeral homes here claiming the girls bodies were misidentified. So do you see the connection here? The medical examiner, the coroner, funeral homes, they're all working together in this organ trafficking business. All right. Some deep stuff here. Wake up. Be aware, y'all. Be aware. I mean, they did body snatching. They snatching up organs as soon as you dead. They trying to figure out a way to steal your organs. Now, I did a video last week about the man where they stole this man's organs when he died. The family did not did not uh, uh, okay his organs to be taken out. You know, nobody okayed his organs. Nobody said it was all right. He didn't have organ donor on his thing, but they don't care. When you're running a multi-billion dollar business, and or and illegal organs are selling more than anybody. What do you think? They, they could care less. That's just the dark side of this world, man. It's very evil. It's very corrupt. Sorry to the families. Um, I'm sorry to the families. And it's just sad. I just want people to be aware that funeral homes, medical examiners, these hospitals, they all work together in the organ traffic, the illegal organ trafficking business. I'm your boy Zillionaire. Put your thoughts in the comments about these two young ladies getting their organs stolen and being sent to the wrong funeral home. Well, one of the girls got their organs stolen, but both of them were sent to the wrong funeral home. This is sad, man. I'm out of here. I'm trying to own multiple businesses, driving the latest business. Heaven only knows I'm a witness, and the profit gonna come tremendous. I'm trying to own multiple businesses, driving the latest business. Heaven 
and only knows I'm a witness. And the profit gon' come tremendous. Business here, uh-huh. business there. That's right. I'm a man extraordinary.